comedian Joan Rivers' cause of death has been released by the New York City Office of Chief Medical Examiner over a month after her death on September 4th. Rivers apparently died from low levels of oxygen in her blood, causing brain damage. This happened during her routine voice and influx procedure while under the drug Propofol. An autopsy wasn't performed on Rivers because of the family's dedication to the Jewish law. The report was based on a non-invasive physical exam and a thorough review of her charts from the place where she underwent the procedure. Rivers was 81 when she died after being hospitalized for about a week, going into cardiac arrest during the procedure. Unlike more common cases of this type, which are normally certified as homicides, suicides, or natural causes, Rivers' death was classified as a complication of a medical procedure. Rivers' daughter, Melissa, had no comment about the ruling, but said that she was very grateful for the enormous outpouring of love and support from around the world. This is Kylie Link reporting for WFLY-TV News.